Good morning, everybody. So today I am starting off my morning with just a little bit of my McDonald's coffee because I was too tired today. I have um, to do homeschooling with the kids, but I'm not feeling my greatest. I think it's sinus infection or something, but I just ugh, I can't get rid of this cold. No, it's not COVID. I promise. But anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to show what we are doing this month with creative writing. Um, so, oh, I can't get it right. Um, this week we are reading the book, What Were the Salem Witch Trials? I feel like it goes with the theme of October and they can learn a little something about history. Even though it's not, you know, I mean, it is important history. Um, it's so sad what happened to these women who were falsely accused. So I think that this will be something that they can learn about and then um, write a report about it. So we're gonna learn about this. And then something that's not even educational in the least, but we have the scary stories to tell in the dark and more scary stories to tell in the dark. And I cannot find the third one, but <clears throat> We're just reading a few out of here each day, and then the kids are going to write a short, scary story of their own for the month of October. And I don't know if you guys remember ever reading these as a kid, but I love these stories. They're just short, little spooky stories. My kids are in the fifth grade, so this is not too scary for them. In fact, a lot of these little stories are more funny than they are scary. But they enjoy these, so we started these today. But I wanted to talk about my cookbooks. These are my Gooseberry Patch books. These are my favorite cookbooks. I love these cookbooks because they have the little pictures in them that you can color. And I like to color them Instead of buying the adult coloring books, I just buy these. And I just go through and I'll color the pictures. It is so relaxing and it's so stress. Like, it gets rid of my stress for the night. It, it just, I can lay here in my bed at night and color a picture <clears throat> while watching like a fun fall show. Or even like if I'm watching a Hallmark Christmas movie and they have the Christmas, I have several Christmas gooseberry patch books so I'll color the Christmas scenes in them and these are just they're fun anyway but I am going to go through these and look for recipes to do I've already found one that I want to do probably this week and it is a ham recipe it's an apricot glazed baked ham and I have ham in my fridge but it's not a bone-in ham but I figured it will work anyway, and I'm just gonna use this glaze and cook it in a crock pot. This is not a crock pot meal, but I'm gonna try it and see if it'll work out. And then I have other recipes I wanna go through and find fun things to do with the kids um, for Halloween and stuff. But I don't know, do y'all have gooseberry patch books? Do y'all love them like I do? If you do, just give this video a thumbs up. I'll be back with you in a little bit. So because today is one of those days where I'm just not feeling it, I decided to go ahead and make beans to sit in the crock pot for dinner tonight. Um, that way, if I'm feeling worse by this evening, they can just help themselves to this crock pot meal. So I've already got the beans washed and sorted in here. I guess, I think I used half of a bag of these so this is the bag I used and I used about half of that so about a pound since this is a two pound bag okay so to this pot I used those I already put those in I'm also going to add um, one chopped up red bell pepper one chopped up yellow bell pepper and a small white onion that. I also have a can of Rotel that I'm going to add. Rotel is my staple. 
I love Roto and almost everything. My kids get so annoyed how much I spend on Roto. Um, I also have a can of chopped green chilies. I am going to add an entire package of the Eckridge Farms sausage. And then this great value beef broth. Doing this all one handed, which is why it's so hard. I'm going to add this whole thing in, and then if I need to add water to it, I will. But the rotel and the chilies give it such a good flavor. I'm also going to add garlic, salt, and pepper to this. I do need water, I'll be right back. Okay, I added the water. You could add more beef broth if you want to. I only had the one. Um, water will still have tons of flavor because of all the spices and the rotel and the chilies. I like garlic, my family likes garlic. So garlic and pepper and salt to taste, however much y'all prefer, and that should be good. These are going to be a little spicy. We like our food spicy, but you just add however much pepper. You don't have to put rotel in this if you don't want to. You don't have to add, you just could add whatever you want to it and it will taste amazing. The, pe the sausage in there gives it a really good flavor as well. And these beans are going to cook up. We're going to cook them for, let's see, six hours on high. And that should be plenty enough time for these to cook up really nicely and then um in about an hour before these beans are done or 30 minutes before the beans are done i will cook up the cornbread and we're gonna have jalapeno cornbread so what i do is i add corn a can of corn and a chopped up jalapeno to the cornbread and it gives it like a very yummy cakey it's like a little sweet and very spicy <laughs> Okay, so this, it has been several hours, it's halfway done. Let's take a look at it. So the beans have several hours more to go, but look at how hearty this is. So yummy wanted to give it a good stir halfway through yum and this will last our family several days worth of um, leftovers in the refrigerator look at that I love the colors it is so pretty this is one of our favorite meals and we're gonna have this with cornbread Here is our cornbread. Yummy, yummy. Just came out of the oven. And our beans. Just about done. Let me just. Yeah. These are almost done. Look at that. It is so. So yummy. Yum. Yeah. 